Banquet is a fun time for us to get together at the end of the year uh, and kind of just recap the season, relive the season, and also look a bit towards next year. I can't explain why I haven't won again other than that. Brad had a great season. <laughs> All right, Dallas Green Award, which goes to the team that improved the most from period 10 to the end of the season during this year. And that uh, 26 and a half points goes to the Rebels. Nice job in the second half there. Eighth place, the Meisters. Congratulations. Sixth place, Hard Hats. Congratulations. And first place, the Lamb Chops. Which also comes with this little bauble. This is a record setter. It's a Lamb Chops. Gained 56 points over their season total last year. <laughs> That's seven points a category. Yeah. <laughs> CFCL Championship Award. Something I've worked 14 years to get and uh, feels great. This year was one of those years where it just seemed like about every trade we made or didn't make, it, it all worked out. And uh, this guy, Pat Burrell, right here was a big big part of it. So uh, Pat, if you see this, thank you very much. With every baseball player, every team, there's a story. To me, that's what I love about baseball, is, is every situation, every inning, every game, uh, you, you truly don't know what's going to happen next. Guys developed, Pat Burrell stepped up and became a 35 home run, 120 RBI guy this year. Uh, and and he, he was improving year by year, but he exploded this year. Adam Dunn had a nice year. Matt Morris came through and pitched great. And Eric Gagne came out of seemingly out of nowhere to be just an outstanding help to our bullpen. And that's where the fun of kind of scouting these guys and following them and tracking them and, and hoping that you can outsmart somebody else in a very competitive league. Uh, that, that's where a lot of the fun and the challenge comes in too.